Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler. I'm always thinking about developing self-sufficient villages because now is the time that we must prepare. We don't know when, but in the very near future it may become obvious. Near future means within a couple of years at the most, I think, or maybe a little more or less, but uh, we should start preparing now communities in rural places where we can grow our own food. That's the most important thing. Where we can live self-sufficiently. Where we do not need anything from outside. But all we need is to have a loving community where people live together like a family, like members of one family who take care of each other. So, interestingly, I have learned from Sheikh Imran Hussein Sahib that the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he predicted that during the time of Dajjal we would have to leave the cities and find refuge in remote places where there would be a source of water and, of course, some land, whether it's in the mountains, I think he said in the mountains especially, but distant from civilization, uh, where we could grow our own food, have goats and sheep especially, he mentioned, uh, must be a source of food. Uh, so it seems that now is that time. That time is coming now, very near. So we should prepare. Um, some people have asked me, I can't afford to buy a farm. So I said, well, I didn't buy a farm. I didn't have money to buy a farm. So I bought a house, a small house in a remote, not too remote, but in a farming community and developing friendship with the local people here and working towards developing a self-sufficient community. I don't know the details of how all this is going to develop, but it's crystal clear. I was so happy to hear that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had also talked about this time that we're living in right now. This is the time of Dajjal. This is the time when we will have to develop self-sufficient village communities. Um, that's all I'm going to say for now. <laughs> I know that it's dangerous even to talk about these topics <laughs> because they're true. <laughs> Some people don't want us to escape from them uh, and go to the countryside where we can grow our own food. They prefer to control our food supply. Then we, could, we would have to do whatever they say. But uh, if we can develop self-sufficient village communities where we grow our own food, then they won't be able to control us in that way. God willing. <laughs> but God is in control. That's the good news. That uh, no matter what happens, uh, we can be happy. It may seem frightening <laughs> what's happening in the world, um, but God is in control. We know that for sure. And uh, God is our best friend. God will never allow anything bad to happen to us. Whatever happens, it all can lead towards a good purpose. It can lead towards a wonderful end. So we should actually be happy that we're living in this time of great difficulty, great deception, great hypocrisy, um, because in this time we can work together to establish pure Islam, pure Christianity, pure Hinduism, pure Buddhism, pure Sikhism, pure Judaism, pure religion. Pure religion means love. So we must come together in love. And if we come together in love, there'll be no difficulty. We will de develop self-sufficient villages where we will all live together as a loving family and God will protect us. That's all we need to worry about. <laughs> we don't need to worry about what the world is doing because we can't control that. We can control what we do and God can control everything. So we just have to work together in love, remembering God, calling on the names of God, and have our self-sufficient village communities. Okay. All right, let's see what questions or comments we may have. Khurram Ansari says, Salam, Bhai Jan. Salam to you. as alaikum Salam. Saliha Khanum also says, Saliha Khanum says, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Salam. Saliha Khanum Ji. 
محمد حمزہ سیز السلام علیکم بابا جی وعلیکم السلام محمد حمزہ صاحب سعید ہاشمی سیز آئی ایم بیسڈ ان لاس اینجلس اینڈ ووڈ لو ٹو وزٹ یو یس یو کین کم اینڈ وزٹ آئی بی ہیپی ٹو ہیو یو کم ان اسپارٹو اسپارٹو کیلیفورنیا از اباؤٹ فورٹی مائلس ویسٹ ٹو نارتھ ویسٹ آف سیکرمنٹو یو ویلکم ٹو کم بی ہیپی ٹو میٹ یو محمد حمزہ سیز او Again, As-salamu alaykum, Baba Ji. No need to repeat. I already, I thought you had already said that, or is it the same one? Yes, please don't repeat your statements. Sayyid. Muhammad Hamza says, Is Dajjal a, is a human or name of a system? According to Hadith, he is a human. Uh, I, I guess he is a human. I think that's the... Uh, what it sounds like, but certainly there is a Dajjal system also which is in place now and which is uh, gaining power and um, I really don't know the, the details. Oftentimes uh, scriptures need a metaphorical interpretation so I'm not sure exactly how to take the interpretation of Dajjal. He may be a human being If, he, if, if Dijal is a human being, I would guess he must be present in the world now because uh, this is clearly the time of Dijal. Zayin Ahmed says, uh, Sir, what are your views about metaphysical self-realization and meditation? Well, that's mostly what I'm talking about <laughs> from the beginning. Uh, self-realization and meditation. I especially meditate by chanting the names of God. Uh, that's the system that I use. There are many different systems of medi- meditation. But I've always stressed that we should spend if, you know, as much time as we can in the morning, especially even an hour, but certainly at least 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, meditating, praying, and uh, trying to realize ourselves. Because our real self is the eternal servant of God. That's our real identity. So I think that's the summation of my views, my metaphysical views. <clears throat> okay. Well, that looks like that's all the comments or questions we have. So maybe I'll end here because this is a very important point I've made and I was so happy to see. And you can see in my Facebook page, you can see uh, Sheikh... Imran Hussein's talk about this, uh, that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had also made this prediction. Okay. Sayyid Hashmi says, Thanks, I will try to visit you soon. I hope I can Google your place. Yes, you're very welcome to come, and I'll be very happy to see you. God willing, <laughs> we will be able to meet soon. Okay. Please be happy and please listen to that talk by uh, Imran Hussein Sahib, uh, which is posted just a few days ago on my site. May God protect us all.